Hi everyone, welcome to today's reading of Emma's Fractions by J.L. Cornish. This is the third book in a series of stories where Emma learns about fractions, halves, quarters and eighths. If you love this story, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel and visit the teacher author website where you can find a range of stories that all include free discussion questions and learning activities. Let's read! Emma was a little girl who really loved to count, and as you already know, can count a really big amount. Now Emma was learning about something new. She was learning about fractions, so she could split quantities too. Like when playing with her brother, she grabbed all the Play-Doh and split it into two and thought they were ready to go. But when she looked down at the parts, it almost made her laugh. One part looked much bigger, so the pieces were not half. She put the pieces back again, and now she had the whole. Instead this time she stretched it and shaped it in a roll. She folded the whole piece and cut it at halfway. She knew both parts were equal. Now they were ready to play. Or when she was at school and it was time to write, she grabbed a bunch of pencils and lay them all in sight. She looked at all the tables and saw that there were four. Each table needed a tin so everyone could draw. She wondered how to split the bunch and knew just where to start. She could use repeated halving so she'd have four equal parts. She split the bunch in half but she knew she needed more. So she halved the parts again and now she could see four. Each table had an equal share, a quarter in each tin. There were 24 pencils so each tin had six within. Or when at her birthday party, it was time to cut the cake. She needed eight equal slices for everyone to take. She started marking up the cake to see how she could share. But when she looked down at all the parts, she knew it wasn't fair. Instead, she cut the cake in half and now she had just two. She still needed more pieces and knew just what to do. She cut each part in half again and saw that there were four. Then she cut them into eighths by halving them once more. Emma learned about fractions when cutting up the cake. She knew she could use halving to work out quarters and eighths. Emma felt so proud that she had learned something new the next time you are sharing, you might see some fractions too. That brings us to the end of today's read aloud of Emma's Fractions by J.L. Cornish. I love how Emma learnt about breaking the whole into equal parts and she could use repeated halving to work out quarters and eighths. I wonder if you could try and use repeated halving just like Emma the next time you are splitting something into quarters or eighths. Or other fractions. Don't forget if you loved this story then like this video and subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date with new read alouds. Thanks for listening and we'll see you at our next read aloud.